Let me take you to my first story. A woman has been issued a $50,000 reward. Well, settlement basically because an officer groped her in front of her boyfriend. Put up the picture of the cop. His name is Tyler Gelnet. Let's go to the video. This is one time it, it's best to bring her back here okay. because of the traffic on Greenwood, right? All right. He's patting me down. Wait, okay, go ahead. Good. Yeah. Okay. 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 You don't care about checking you out, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, hold on. Stop, Jesus. stop. Time, time out, time out. Thanks. Go back there. Go back there. So Ma'am, do you have anything on you? No. Okay. Can you do me a favor? Just hang tight right here, okay? Can I just shut my the yeah, door? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can shut the door and let with male officers, it's supposed to be the back of the hand. Yeah. So as soon as he did the uh, he did it wrong, ma'am, ma'am, listen to me. Ma'am, can you turn around? I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's, it's okay. just the way he, he did it. He's, he's, he's a new officer. I'm training him. Pulled but his, I'm not, I, he that's, pulled his that's, fingers. That's why. I'm sorry. I found a only no, no, a female. No, no, no. I don't have anything on me. Ma'am. Only a female officer is. is Ma like, males can search females, but we are we are supposed to use the back of our hands. That's violation, right? So sir. that's why, as soon as I saw him, I stopped him, told him to go to the back of the car. Okay. Okay. It's all being recorded. I want to let you know that. I want you to reassure you of that. Okay. You okay, ma'am? Listen, listen. It was just, I've never had nobody. I, I, I know. It was awkward. Just, as soon as I saw him, that's why I stopped him. And I want to personally apologize to you, okay? Yes. I want to personally apologize. The cop who intervened is a good man. That is a good man. He didn't hesitate. And he did not treat them like criminals. He didn't start being a jerk to them. He said, I apologize. And he was truthful about how the officer was in violation. Now, he was giving the officer the benefit of the doubt and blamed it on training. I do not believe this was his training. I think he was intentionally trying to dehumanize this woman. Put up the picture of the cop who committed that sexual assault. Put his picture up again. This is from the city of Louisville, Kentucky. Tyler Gelnet is his name. The woman's boyfriend had been present for the incident and told the other officer that Gelnet looked dead at me in his face when he did that. So while the cop is doing this to the woman, to the woman, he's looking at the woman's boyfriend dead in his face. Kaylee Coates was with her boyfriend and family members when she was pulled over by police. January 5th, 2019, after turning onto 28th Street from Virginia Avenue. After ordering her out of the vehicle, Officer Gelnet inappropriately placed his hands in her crotch area and then into her underwear. That's according to the lawsuit. The lawsuit was filed in 2020, it has now just been settled. While the other officer with Gelnet saw what happened to Coates and even apologized, uh, uh, Gail Nett, uh, saying and saying Gail Nett will be punished for his actions under terms of the settlement. The compromise of a doubtful and disputed claim is not an admission of guilt according to documents obtained under the Kentucky open records law. They always have a way to be slick. November 2020, Gail Nett was charged with official misconduct and drug trafficking. Put up his picture again. Okay, you still think this was an accident? You still think this was about training? This man was corrupt to the core. This cop was charged with official misconduct and drug trafficking. After allegedly seizing marijuana while handling cases, but then giving it to a woman he was in a relationship with, he resigned from the department and he actually pleaded guilty. What a POS. In the Colts case, Body camera footage shows Gelnet asking her to get out of a vehicle after the other officer said he smelled marijuana on the passenger. While the passenger in the vehicle admitted he had smoked marijuana early in the day, in the day nothing was found in the car, and they were let go without even a ticket. But she was violated. That cop should have been arrested that day. That was illegal. Now here's another cop. 
put up his picture. According to the report, this cop abused his authority while on duty. His name is Jonathan Gardner, former Kansas officer who raped a 20 year old woman several years years ago and has recently been arrested for that rape. Gardner is charged with rape in the first degree, 12 counts of unlawful acts concerning computers, 12 counts of official misconduct according to the criminal complaint filed by the Douglas County District Attorney's Office. Charges were filed this week by the DA following a four month investigation, the details of which are still being kept guarded by officials. A spokesperson for the Kansas Bureau of Investigations, the KBI, said investigators received a call from the Lawrence Police Department on November 1st, 2021 regarding a potentially criminal incident involving one of their officers. The investigators arrived to discover that a woman had come in earlier that day to speak with police about an alleged sexual assault by a police officer almost five years prior. The woman told the police and later investigators she was raped by Gardner on January 1st, 2017. She also said the cop was on duty at the time of the alleged assault. That's according to KBI. Gardner was fired from the force for a short time after the investigation began. Then earlier this month, the former officer was arrested and charged with rape in the first degree. That's because after the investigation, they found the complaint to have evidence of the actual crime alleged. Now we have a problem here, don't we? You have to ask the question, why is it that over 40% of police officers self report that they have engaged in domestic violence and criminal assault in their lives? Self reported numbers over 40% is the highest of any profession. What is the issue here? Is it that policing changes those who connect to the industry? Or maybe policing as an industry attracts a certain type of cop. Ms. Tucker, thoughts? First of all, I want to see little Ty Ty, um, his browser history. You know, <laughs> looking at BBBW, what's going on? Because she thought she was going to get away with that one. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy that that officer intervened when he did. Yes. I know we just saw what happened to the officers, you know, who was kicking it with Chauvin and all that. They just went down and got convicted. So he was like, you're not gonna get me like that. So I am so glad that he intervened um, right away and that he communicated with the victim, right? Cuz we need to acknowledge that she is a victim. Um, so I really do appreciate that. But I do think we also need to look at how we are selecting police officers. It has been a very good old boys club for a very long time. It has been a very selective process, but not appropriately selective. So I'm hoping that all this exposure of how these police officers are um, just acting out crazy and showing their true colors. I'm hoping we start really looking into that and taking that into consideration when we choose who will protect and serve our communities. That's right, and cops need to be under a psychological evaluation every six months. That's one protocol that needs to be established nationally. 